All right, what's going on guys? Before we get into the video, I want to follow up my previous video with some good news. The account from that video did actually end up getting suspended and I think we played a pretty big role in that happening. So I guess you could say mission accomplished on that one. If you missed that video, you should definitely go check it out. I thought it was actually a really good video. I, I wasn't sure about it because I didn't write anything down for that one. Usually for all of my videos, I write down all of my key points so that I don't forget any of them. But for that video, I strictly went off like the top of my head, just kind of like a rant, I guess, because I was kind of... On a time crunch because I, I woke up kind of late so I had to get the video out soon and despite all of that I think it actually still ended up being a very good video so anyways on to today's topic for once this is not happening in America, man, because, you know, we have, like, such a big emphasis on freedom in this country, you know, you're really allowed to do whatever you want, and when you allow people to do whatever they want, a lot of people end up doing some stupid-ass shit, right? Now, a lot of other countries don't really have these same freedoms, so you don't really see it as often, but it seems that these other countries are now on this transgender wave because because the UK government opposes pregnant women in UN treaty says it excludes transgender people. So basically, they're saying they don't want to use the phrase pregnant women because it excludes transgender people. Now, that doesn't really make any sense to me because I, I personally don't see the problem in saying pregnant women because, well, women are the only people that can get pregnant. So I'm really failing to see the issue here men cannot get pregnant it's physically impossible you know it, it's biology there's no argument there men are simply not allowed to get pregnant that's like saying i'm 14 percent gay i mean you know that's not an argument man that's just facts i'm 14 percent gay sometimes you just got to get a little dick man just a little nourishment in your life but anyways um let's just hear what they have to say the uk government objected to the term pregnant woman in a united nations treaty claiming the term excludes transgender people who give birth and should be replaced with pregnant people report said Sunday okay so basically they want to use the phrase pregnant people instead of pregnant woman now I'm gonna try to attempt to understand why this would offend anyone but I'm gonna warn you I don't know if I'm gonna be able to add this one up but I think the way this whole transgender thing works once again I'm not an expert on the subject but I've made enough videos to the point where I actually kind of do understand how it all works so you have a woman who becomes transgender, so she's now uh, technically a man, right? Or I guess technically she's a woman, but she's referring to herself as a man, right? So these people refer to themselves as transgender men, but despite them thinking that they are a man, they're still a woman, and they're still capable of getting pregnant. So if one of these transgender men were to get pregnant, I guess they want to refer to themselves as a pregnant man, which doesn't really make any sense, obviously, uh, but I guess that's the issue at hand because now these pregnant men are not being represented in this treaty because it says pregnant woman. Does that make sense? So they're fighting for it to say pregnant people instead of woman. And honestly, if you followed all of that, my response to this is, is pretty simple, man. Who gives a fuck, man? Are you serious? First of all, you're not going to be excluded from shit. And let me tell you why. It's really simple. I'm about to blow your mind with this one, but... You people are the only ones who refer to yourself in that way. Everyone else on the planet still refers to you as a woman, so you actually are going to be represented in this treaty. If I see a person that is pregnant, I really don't give a fuck what you have to say or what you identify as. You're a woman because only women can get pregnant. So it doesn't matter if you want to refer to yourself as a man or whatever. You don't got nothing to worry about because you're going to be covered. We're all still thinking of you as a woman because we have a brain and we think logically. But even then, 
why stop there? Why why are we stopping at pregnant people? What about all the genderless aliens out there? You know, what, what about all of them? What about the pregnant aliens? They're not people, right? They're fucking aliens. So we have to come up with an entirely different term than people. You know, we got to include everyone, right? Or, or is that too crazy? I don't know. That might be too crazy. I mean, honestly, like, do you see how fucking stupid this is? Like, like, where do we go after this? Because I guarantee you, after you change it to pregnant people, whenever you need to do a new treaty all the fucking aliens are gonna come get mad and be like well we as aliens are not being represented alien lives matter no they don't fucking matter you're not an alien you're a human you live on earth so this whole thing is pretty stupid but just when you thought it couldn't get any more retarded just wait because there's more we requested that the un human rights committee made it clear that the same right to life for pregnant women extends to pregnant transgender people, the FCO said in a statement. The proposal sparked fury among prominent feminists who called the suggestion insulting. This isn't inclusion. This is making women unmentionable. Feminist Sarah Didum told the Times. So, let me make sure I got this straight. They tried to come up with a solution to please all of the transgenders, and in doing so, they have now angered the feminists. What the hell? Is this a movie? Is this actually happening? Do I actually live in a world where this is a real fucking thing, man? I thought y'all two were on the same side. Y'all were supposed to be fighting for equality together. The feminists, the transgender, you know, y'all are all grouped together fighting for equality. Apparently not. Once again, the feminists proving that they only want equality when it benefits them. So, basically what's going on here is all of the feminists are now mad because being pregnant, as I mentioned earlier, is something that only applies to women. So they feel by including transgenders in this, they're kind of taking that privilege away from women. She literally said the word unmentionable. So she's mad that the word, the actual fucking word woman is no longer being mentioned. She wants her credit, all right? She needs the word woman to be mentioned. Like, who gives a fuck, all right? Let me tell both of y'all what's up. Both of your groups are fucking stupid. You're both retarded. No one outside of your two dumbass groups gives a fuck about this. And honestly, I don't even want to pick a side, but since I have to pick a side here, you know, I, I can't just be neutral. I'm going to have to pick someone, and, and it really hurts me to say this, but I think I might actually have to pick the feminists on this one. That's how stupid this situation is. I have to side with the feminists. The feminists are the ones coming into this situation with some logic. That's how bad it is. You think I want to be siding with the feminists, bro? Hell no! I, I don't want to, but I don't have a choice, man. You, you know how they say, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place? That that's what's going on right here, you know? I'm stuck between a dick in the ass and a dick in the mouth. Either way, I'm getting fucked, all right? No homo though, but either way, I'm getting that dick. So, I mean, I gotta pick one, so I, I guess I'll pick the mouth. Once again, strong no homo, but I thought that was a very good way to describe my situation. But anyways, let's wrap this up. They haven't come to a decision yet on what they wanna do, but, but it seems that I'm not the only one who thinks this situation is pretty stupid. Critics of the bill, according to the Times, are concerned that the ability to self-identify could let biological men to get legal access to women's shelters, changing rooms, hospitals, and participate in women's competitive sports. Yeah, so I think that right there further confirms my support for the feminists on this one. I don't think we need any biological men going into the women's changing room you already know what kind of weird ass pervert's gonna be up in there like drilling holes in the wall like jacking off and shit like no we don't need no men going up in there i don't give a fuck what nobody says bro you got a cock 
You go to the men's changing room, end of story. Imagine your daughter was in that changing room and she's changing next to some 40 year old man. Fuck no! Hell fucking no, that's not happening. Listen, I don't give a fuck what you say to me. That's not happening. So that's all I gotta say on the subject, man. This video really put me in a tough situation, but you know, I, I had to make a choice and uh, I, I guess I'll have to stand by that choice. So anyways, we'll see what they end up doing with this. They might honestly change the uh, language once again. They need to satisfy everyone here. So I'm sure this is gonna be a, a really big deal, man. Uh, it, it's just unfortunate that this is the type of shit that matters in society nowadays apparently so anyways thank you guys so much for watching as always special thank you to all of my patreon supporters if you would like to be included link is in the description down below leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out